hello and welcome in this video we are going to learn how to retrieve or get a secret value which is stored in oci vault with the help of oci function i have listed down the steps which we need to follow in order to achieve this use case first and the foremost thing you need to create a vault you need to create a master key and create a secret what we want to retrieve then we need to create a function and then at the last we are going to invoke the function with the help of postman tool coming to the policy the policy required for the function in order to access the secret family is we need to allow the dynamic group for that particular function to use secret family wherever that is residing okay i will provide this policy in my blog please check out my blog for more details now we'll walk through the functions code this is the functions code which i have written in order to achieve the use case this is the basic boilerplate code what you get with the help of writing that init command in the request i am accepting the secret ocid secret type even you can have the configuration parameters created in order to accept the secret ocid but i am accepting those values in the request in the form of json if the secret type is a text then what i am doing is i am calling one of the functions written within this module if the secret type what i have stored is a binary means like a secret which is generated for a file which is having the credential then the user must send it is a binary so that we will retrieve md5 for that particular file or the secret now let's consider if the secret type it is text then we are calling this get extract secret function let me walk you through this code we are getting the signer we already know we had gone through those things in our previous videos if you are not watch that video please watch our previous video in which i have explained in detail what is this signer so in the request we are passing this secret ocid what we get from the user or the invocation same thing we are passing to this client in order to fetch the secret once we get the secret as we upload base64 data in the secret we are decoding we have to make sure to decode in the standard which was used for encoding as i have en encoded with the help of utf8 i am decoding with utf8 over here in case if we are successfully decoding the secret then we are sending the response back to the service consumer with the status as success we are assigning status and secret within one line in case of any exception exception is thrown back suppose if the secret is a binary file then we are sending the md5 the steps are same only difference is once we get the secret content we are creating a file in the temporary location that is in temp secret location and then we are generating md5 with the hash live md5 function and md5 we are returning back yeah that's it with the code now we'll test this function from our postman client in the request as i told i'm passing secret ocid and secret type first let me test for this text and this is the ocid for the secret what i have stored in vault clicking on this send button as you could see we have successfully retrieved the secret that is username which is present in this secret ocid now suppose i have one secret that is type binary i should get the md5 for that now let me hit on this send button as you could see i got the md5 for that secret like this we can make use of functions and communicate with vault in order to fetch the secrets in our next video we'll learn how to invoke oic integration from functions in that we'll make use of this vault in order to fetch the username and password which is used for logging into oic integration environment please join us in that video and thank you for watching this video